So this video I am going to dedicate to oh, a British uh, royals who one time truly did contemplate it on in a parenthesis saving me uh, from Slovenian hellfall. And yeah, my motherland that I embraced so much and praised so highly, uh, it became a hellhole through deliveries to Moscow, where I would initially meet these people. And have demonstrated me on behalf of the Soviets, I actually have demonstrated Soviets how to classify children in the different groups, uh, keep those good and waste, basically destroy those bad kids. So in this video I am going to dedicate, there's going to be another one. And dedicated to my lovely British family uh, at the Buckingham Palace. It's, uh, magnificent people, the most magnificent British, also in Canada, uh, people who turned my life with the Soviets into hellhole. That's what Slovenia became. Uh, worse than a hellhole. And really, for several years in a row, what I'm about to tell you about this incident, it did happen during, a, in my third grade, so at my age 9, maybe even 10, it's a police officer here in Nalometha who was employed, but who originally, I understand, was from Ljubljana. And you're talking about the guy who had totally, totally blonde hair. And kind of looked German, uh, and <clears throat> no, actually maybe fourth grade, maybe I was ten years old when, for the last time, and for the first time, <laughs> uh, another British joke took place, and that was a mere British joke. In this one, even Donald Trump was involved, a very, very close ally of British royals. If you wonder about his estate over there in Scotland, trust me, as much as the British royals don't like him, this is what their politic looks and works mysterious ways. of God, insane, those that are forced on the path of the royals. And this misery and death. I talked to you about how um, I was uh, willing and eager to get the fuck out of Slovenia as a child because of what they did to me and because British royals insisted that they would have me moved to Britain uh, the thing about it is that just like other kids 
Supposedly there was kids that left to Britain at a very young age. They got them. Uh, they got them going in Britain. However, you know, I really had no idea how that works. Uh, another party that insisted that I should go from Slovenia as a child already was American side. Uh, somehow very, very unsuccessful in saving me and helping me out. Uh, have positioned itself between the British uh, and basically British option, which was non-existing. Whenever I was delivered to Britain, it would be the torture instead that would take place. Intimidation, harassment. Uh, systematically, I was gradually I was introduced to other British royals by Prince Philip. This big Michael of Kent and uh, Andrew also was into play with the children more than anybody else. Um, he had some exceptional qualities, ability to relate to the children, I think for all the wrong reasons, but, well, uh, this was my pal, my best pal was Andrew, and so, um, British Royals spent a lot of time with me uh, since early age were assuring me that uh, they are on my side saw themselves in me and that they side with me and that I'm their secret friend and we are the friends and we are the family but when the time came for me to first time, it was the first time the first offer when I said Americans with a position between the British and between the knower. The knower was the British that would disallow them basically to do anything. Uh, eventually were forced to present themselves rather as a useful option to accommodate the British owners or partners if that sounds better. Um, that's what they were used, as I stated, for anything dirty, for any dirty job. They always used Americans, United States of America would always assume, take upon itself, upon themselves, any shit the British would create, any, any, any inconvenience problem uh, would be always solved. It was to take something place they always used America USA to hide behind the issues so Americans again presented not even an option not even an offer for me to move to the United States of America they presented instead support for what British presented me. And the way the British presented me as an option, as an opportunity to Britain, was well basically taking me repeatedly to a, what we call internat. I don't know, maybe it's a boarding school in English. That's where people, excuse me, children stay without their parents. Uh, separately basically study there, live there. Uh, but that boarding school in Britain, which Prince Andrew of the Royals presented me with, was uh, just, uh, and also at much younger age, uh, that shit started at, uh, in London, where they would deliver me. 
they started to present me at school like it's, I don't know, maybe I was seven or something like that. And it was the same shit like in, in Russia. It was a violence uh, with some kids, bigger, smaller, pushing one another. Again, the same shit, chaotic stuff. Uh, and you had me, hey, look, look at me, look what the fuck I mean. I'm not really a fan of the violence. No child ever is. Chaotic, anarchy, anarchical, crazy environment, again, that just a glimpse and meeting of these kids, some of these kids that were bullies, uh, made me understand already that a British, uh, if I was ever to find myself in a, in a fucking place like this, uh, it, it, it would be maybe even a bigger hellhole than in Slovenia. And uh, it was nice meeting some of those kids. Now, when I think over, although I never had in real time to meet these people, or maybe I did, and I did not register. Uh, but it helps me out to bring a memory on British boarding school, which British royals brought me beginning at age seven. Uh, repeatedly, but would not allow me uh, but claiming me they're my family, uh, finally the offer was presented to me by this blonde police officer who afterwards was transferred back to Ljubljana, I understand, just when I was about like 12 years old. A good thing is, that's a really fantastic thing, eh? to have a memory like this that you can use and fuck entire police in Slov Slovenian police by literally pointing out the guy who worked in some location and tell the year when he was transferred to Ljubljana and such and describe him. That's a good stuff, isn't it? For boarding school in London and stuff like this when he would be taking me to travel with me to Britain. It's not bad, huh? So, anyways, you know, at my age, probably, I really estimate it was like uh, 10, maybe 11. Uh, it was this last offer that was presented to me. It was like, we are ready to go, we got the deal. And uh, really, the violence in, in the school at the Snona Shola Gurum here in Norway is the grammar school. What British created this was this, this, this crazy shit. This is a fucking madness. Uh, desperacy to get me out of here, uh, I could feel the direction this violence was coming from straight from Britain, from the British direction. They were the one behind the violence. They financed this violence. And it was a very unpleasant experience I had with Andrew at this boarding school, which was becoming ever more violent from year to year. Uh, that made me understand once the offer was presented to me next to Donald Trump, also an American, that the best in my interest is to just stay here. Uh, it was an offer that it was just too fucking insane because I figured out that if I would accept that offer, uh, the hellhole I was in would be replaced systematically with even greater health hole. And my losing hope, basically, parents, whatever it was, uh, British royals 
declined as much as they insisted on part of their family, friends, son. They declined. I asked, I said to Andrew and to Charles, so you want me in this boarding school? And I said, so what happened with your special relation with me? I mean, the stuff that you spoke about us. Why did you present me to this, your family that is acquainted with me and all this stuff? If you want me at the boarding school, what exactly is the point of this? So that was about one time that British presented me with an offer to immigrate to Britannia. Um, and so I was not excited. And then there was um, the police officer I'm talking about. You know what I mean? He was transferred, I understand. He said, we're seeing each other for the last time. Or maybe it was a sixth grade that he was transferred. But that's about the time when he, uh, I understand, that's what he said. And he went back to Ljubljana. But it doesn't matter because I can pinpoint a guy. Looks like a German guy, very blonde hair, so fucking easy to identify him. Very unique at this police station. Oftentimes accompanied me to Britain. You see? So that's how we do it. This is how we do it. Uh, it's a short video. Oh, the Donald Trump. Ooh. Donald Trump. In the USA, yeah, exactly the same, exactly the same. It made no point to argue with anybody.